Live life, my people never seen life Seems like we just living trying to get right Dreams like I could boss up the street life But these visions fall short when living in the street life Every day we wake up, we live in constant fears Treading in the same waters we done tread for years Shot down in the streets, we used to hang from trees It's 2020 and we still trust our enemies George Floyd and Amari, just another case That God used to put our enemies in our face But we don't listen, no with some simple jokes, the scripture says two thirds of us gotta go. Fighting for my people, you out here begging for justice. K kings of the earth, no business begging for nothing. Hands up, don't shoot, I'm disgusted. Elijah called fire from the heavens with the sons of the prophets. This whole protest out here was said to be a million man march. God don't need that many men. Right. God, in this Bible says he only needs 144,000 men. That's right. That's right. That's right. Chapter 3 and verse 9. We're going to show our people, according to the Bible, how we organize ourselves and get the justice that we're looking for, thus saith the Lord. Right. That's right. So right now, what we're seeing in front of our, pe in front of our face, it's Easter Sunday. We come out and dress up just so the white man can respect us. Bring it we we got to build up the respect for ourselves. Right. 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 Said the Lord, read. Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. This Bring is the equity of our community. Read. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. So our people are in the midst of their sin. Right. That's why we don't change. That's why we see the same things happening over and over and over again. Right. We living in darkness. Read. Prepare war. What? Prepare war. Because right now, the other nations are warring against us. Right. That's, right. That's why we don't see the equity in ourselves. Right. That's why our women are out here dressed the way they're dressed. Bring it right. out. They don't know that they're princesses. Therefore, they don't dress as princesses. But then they emulate that white image of Christ. Bring it out. That's why they take out their natural hair, which is godlike beauty, right. and put in weeds. Why? We don't know the equity of our people, but men have to stand up and teach that thing. Right. 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 Wake up the mighty men. Wake up the mighty men. Right. Not right. Right. Ambi -ambi that is just going to put on three-piece suits Bring and it do out. nothing right. for the community. Right. That's what we're seeing. Right. We're seeing these brothers arm in arms, but after the photo shoot, they leave. Right. 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 They welcome the women. Don't correct it. Don't Three. correct anything that they see. They're not men of war. That's that's right. Right. And that's why our women feel left out or feel left alone. Right. They're not supporting men of war as the Bible proclaims. That's, that's, right. that's night and day. We have been deprogrammed according to this Bible. That's right. The Bible is waking up mighty men. That's T.D. Right. Jakes is not a mighty man. Right. Right. Joel Osteen, Creflo Dollar are not mighty men. That's that's right. Right. They're not teaching the wrong that our people are doing. Read right. Up. Let all the men of war draw near. All the men of war need to draw near. Understand that. Go to 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Yeah. A lot of our people say, well, I got a gun. I got a bunch of uh, 9 millimeter bullets. We're going to do that. Yes, sir. We're going to get there. Romans 13. We're going to get there. Because that's another problem with our people. But what type of war are we dealing with? Read. 2 Corinthians. Chapter 10, verse 4. Hear out, out, O children of Israel, what thus saith the Lord. Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We don't need sticks, spears, bullets, or guns. Right. right. Our weapon is this Bible. That's, That's right. right. And the enemies hate that thing. That's right. right. But mighty through God. Mighty through God. Read. Right. To the pulling down of strongholds. That's the deprogramming right, right. there. Right. Our women, you are princesses. Right. Stop wearing pants. That saith the Lord. Right. Right. Wear modest apparel. Right. That saith the Lord. That's right. Stop playing yourself. Stop playing with God. That's right. Right. And us men need to be mighty to teach that thing. That's right. That's right. We are the pillars of our community. Stop protesting to the white man. Right. Begging him, asking him. We are the solution. Right. We got to get our minds right. 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 But with our minds wrong. We're going to see another George Floyd. Right. We're going to see another Gee. Amari Arbery. Right. Trayvon Martin. Right. We haven't fixed ourselves yet. Read. Verse 5. Casting down imagination. Casting down the imagination. Right. This. Put that on camera. This is an imagination. Right. 
The Bible proclaims that the Messiah is a black man. Yes, right. Right. All the prophets in the Bible are black men. Yes, the right. same men that are out here marching. But we lost our minds. We don't have any guidance, no direction. Right. Right. We joined a lot of fraternities thinking that is our history and heritage. We lost our way. We've only followed our oppressor. That means his sayings, our mindset. We are still programmed to do sin. Right. Read. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So right. going to church on Sunday exalted itself against God. Right. Right. Women wearing tight and modest apparel exalted itself against God. Right. Marching with your oppressor exalted itself against God. Right. Right. We want to get deprogrammed. Follow what thus saith the Lord. Right. Right. Go to Jeremiah 11 and 7. Bring it out. This is the real protest. That's right. Right. If you want change in your community, if you want change for your son in the years where he's growing up, follow the Bible. That's it's right. that simple. But you know what? A lot of times we got to sacrifice. We don't really want to sacrifice. We want glory. Gee. And that glory is in vanity. And we look at everything around us and say, well, why can't we have it this way? That's right. The Bible already shows us what the protest is and what the revolution looks like. Right. Read. Jeremiah chapter 11 verse 7 Read. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers I did what? I earnestly protested unto your fathers So God already been protesting with the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans Read. For a long time no, He's already given us what to do But what? Read. In the day I brought them up out of the land of Egypt When we were brought out of slavery Right. Brought back into slavery, still dealing with slavery today. God has been protesting with our people for a long time. Right. But you know what? We want to stay in sin. Right. We enjoy sin. Right. We love the feeling of sin and the destruction that comes Bring it with it. Right. We're not tired of our people dying in the streets. If we were, we would change ourselves. Right. Right. Even unto this day, even unto this day in 2020, slavery been going on for 400 years. Right. We ain't tired of it yet. Bring it up. They still put the put their knees on our neck. Bring right. it up. Just like a noose, just like a yoke of iron. They're still oppressing us. Jeez. But we haven't changed our mind. That's right. If black lives really mattered, abortion clinics wouldn't have a reason to be open. Right. Oh, if we, if black lives really matter, black on crime. Black on black crime would be invisible. Right. What wouldn't happen? What? We cannot, you're right. We cannot change the world if we don't change ourselves. That's right. Why is the world depending on us? You're a king and a priest. You put the world in order. That's right. You are a princess. Bring it you are an example of the men that you are standing beside. Bring it you understand that? But when we're out of order, the whole world is out of order. That's right. We go directly to the bottom. Bring it up. Bring. Rising early. And protesting, saying, oh, we rise boy. early to protest our people. Get rid of your sin. Right. That's right. Get rid of your sin, black man, Hispanic man. If you want to stop dying in the street and being that target for your enemy, stop sinning. That's as right. simple as that. Read. Yet they obey not. We obey not. So we like being deprogrammed. Right. We like being programmed to the white man's channel. That's right. You understand that? Breathe. Go ahead and climb their ear. Uh, so they don't want to hear it. They don't want to change. So we're comfortable with oppression. Read. But what? Everyone in the imagination. In the what? The imagination. Of what? Of their evil heart. Of their what? Their evil heart. This is what God is saying. So on. if we won't change, we got to get rid of our sin. That's right. Now, you may ask, my brother right here, what is sin? Anybody out here, what is sin? Fail short. Fail short of what? Things that keep us away from Christ. Let's get the definition of sin. Bring so that up. as you walk and go your way, you know what thus saith the Lord. Right. We have to reprogram our mind to what God has said. Read. First John chapter 3, verse 4. This Bring is sin. Up. Read. Whoso, whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. Uh -huh, read. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's sin right. is the transgression, the going away or the falling short right. of God's laws. 
Let's so let's get some of God's love. Let's start with our men. Let's start with our men. Leviticus 21 and 5. Read up. Simple things. Say, do you love God? Do you love God? Everybody out here will say that they love God, right? Go to first, hold that. First John 5 and 3. Teach. When you get that. All right. Let's see how we love God. According to the Bible. Not according to our evil hearts. Our evil hearts. Is your mind because your mind meditates on imagination. That's right. right. Read. First John chapter 5, verse 3. This is how we love God. Read. But this is the love of God. Uh -huh. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. So we have to be minded in our heart to keep God's commandments. That's right. Stay away from that sin, right? right. The revolution is in the Bible. That's right. right. We have to deprogram our mind. Right. My brother, stop shaving off your beard. Right. Stop shaving your head. That's the law of God. That's right. That's right. what puts you back into your kingship and your rulership. That's you got to right. understand that. Either you're going to hear or forbear. Bring it up. Right. The Bible gives you your opportunity at revolution. Either you're going to hear it or forbear it. When you hear it, you gain life. But we see what forbearing gets us. The death of our brothers. We can call out the name, but we can change the future. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. So this is God putting us in order. Read. But I will have you to know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. So we need to be ordered in the fashion of Christ. Right. right. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. So God is putting things in order. Bring it on. It, it, finish it out. And the head of Christ is God. So the order is God, Christ, man, woman, children. Right. But if you want to be deprogrammed, that is the order of God. Right. Watch this. I'm going to show you how this law can be seen out here. Bring it on. to be a million man march. Women are welcome, but not told how to come out in fashion to Bring represent it out. the men that are here. Right. So you got men in three-piece suits. Bring it on. But women dressed in half nothing. Right. So that means that we are protecting women who want to be in the fashion of harlots, prostitutes, Jeez. baby mamas. That's, That's what right. we represent as Jeez. men. The Bible says mighty men of war put our households in order. Right. That's right. We don't accept just anything. We're going to have our households in order, thus saith the Lord. Right. Understand that. Read. Every man praying or prophesying with his head, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. So, my brothers out here who have hats on, the word of God is coming out. We're going to make it real plain and simple. Bring it out. When the word of God is coming out, take off your hat. Bring it plain out. Plain and simple. Because right. watch this. The deprogramming is just like this. When you go into the white man's courtroom, he don't even ask you. He right. put a sign at the door. Right. You read that sign. But somehow we don't read the Bible for you to put us in check. Right. Right. So, my brother, as a king, a priest, and a ruler, according to God, God said, take your hat. That's right. If you honor him, if you want to be deprogrammed, that's what it is. Read. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. So when women, and I understand this is some of y'all first time hearing the laws of God, but this is our order. It says that the woman should put a covering on her head when praying or prophesying. That's what the Bible says. You want to know why, sis? You're a princess. Right. Your princesses deserve crown. So your head covering is your crown. That's right. As a man, when we're coming before the Lord, we have to show our submission to Christ. Right. Bring it out. following in those footsteps. So we have to show God through keeping him his commandment that we're willing to be in his order. Right. right. You understand that? Now, as Israelites, there is a dress code. That's why we've been harping on women out of pain, but being in modest apparel. Right. But let's go to what we all as Israelites should have on. Numbers. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Read. Speaking to the children of Israel. We're speaking to the children of Israel. Right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans who came into slavery on ships. Right. And beat them that they make them fringes in the borders of their government. So, this is Israelite dress code. We go into the stores wanting to look like Calvin Klein, Tommy Hill figure. But why don't you want to look like your forefathers, Jeremiah? Isaiah, Christ. Right. 
Why don't we want to look like our forefathers? Why don't we want to inquire of our forefathers and the actions they took to create the revolution that they lived in? Right. What's wrong with us? We don't know who we are. Right. That's our problem. But now your brothers are out on the street corners teaching you who you are according to the Bible. Now watch the great mystery. They used this to enslave us. Bring it up! But they didn't tell us that this Bible was also going to free us. That's right. right. That's why we're out here. Right. You can look at us crazy, but these are the mighty men of war that you're seeing before you. That's right. right. You can either hear it, join up, teach your people, or forbear it and continue to see your destruction. Right. Right. That's free. right. Throughout the generations. Throughout the generations. So not just for us. When we learn who we are according to the Bible, we're going to teach it to our children. Right. And our children are going to teach it to their children. Right. Therefore, we'll never forget. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So you are seeing your brothers right now in front of you in the example of what you should look like. Right. Brother, you're going to have your shirts on. You're going to put your fringes on at the border of blue. And when you see another Israelite brother, he's going to say shalom. Right. Kind of Christ bless. He's going to send you the blessing. That's right. From the most high God because you submitted yourself. That's, That's right. right. My sisters out here, when you put on your modest dress, you put the fringes at the bottom of it. Bring it up. You're going to feel royal. Right. You want to watch this. When you get married, you have on a dress, right? Bring it up. But that thing that makes you feel real glorious is that train that follows behind it, right? Teach. Right. So the fringes are your train. Right. That Bring reminds you of your royalty. Right. right. What's wrong with us? We stopped wanting to listen to the laws of God. That's right. We started wanting to go to all the other ideologies and follow behind that. Jeez. But that's what's causing our destruction right now. Right. Right. Read on. And it shall be unto you for a free. So there is a purpose of why God puts things in order for us. Read. That ye may look upon it. So when we look upon these fringes, read. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. Because what's wrong with us in today's slavery, captivity, desolation, destruction, we forget the laws, the Lord's commandments. Right. So every now and again, we need to be reminded, oh, you should commit fornication today. Bring oh, it up. That sister, the big booty Judy that came out. Bring it oh, up. I can't be uh, committing man. adultery in my mind. Jeez. Lord, help me. You will rely on God by remembering the commandments. Right. right. And do them. And do them. Go to Isaiah 29, 13. Because Bring a lot of people, everybody out here, if I ask you a blanket statement, Give me a thumbs up if you love God. How about that? If you love God, give me a thumbs up. You know, they used to have signs on the side of the street. Honk if you love Jesus, right? Read up. But this is what God says about our people in their lip service. Read. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Uh -huh. Wherefore the Lord said, uh -huh. For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth. We draw near God with our mouth. But God said we must do Commandments, read, right. and with their lips do honor me. So God says, all the people who think they know me will always say, yes, I love God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Read, but they remove their heart far from me. So we don't think and meditate on the laws of God. Right. That's why our people are out here with no fringes on them. Right. That's why our women are in pants right Right. Now. Right. That's why our men don't know how to correct our sister. Right. right. We think the household is 50-50. Right. God just said the order is God, Christ, man, woman. There yes, is no order. Right. That's what's wrong with our people. What other nation on this earth says the man and the woman is 50-50? Bring it up. Bring it up. Right. Bring it up. Out. The white woman is going to support her husband as a police officer. Right. Right. She'll say, honey, if I need to shoot him myself, right. I'll do that. Right. The Chinese woman, when her man needs to go to war, she will shut up, sit in the back room, and cry. Right. And wait for him to come home. Right. The black woman will say, no, baby, sit at home. You don't pay me no attention. Right. Right. Something is wrong with our people. Right. Read that part again. Our hearts are what? Read. But they removed their heart far from me. Our hearts are far from God. Right. We're far from being ordered back into our royalty. Now watch this. My brother, we, we keep proclaiming that you are the Israelites. How do we come into slavery? Anybody. Wake them up! How do we come into slavery? How do we know that you are the Israelites? How do we know that the white man is not the God of the Bible? How do we know this? Did we know? that that was written in the Bible. Did we know? Because that is where we have made our disconnect. Right. Read Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 48. Read it Deuteronomy up. chapter 28, 
In verse 48. Matter of fact, go to verse 47, because God is giving us the cause and effect. Three. Verse 47. Uh huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So God gave us the laws right. to show our royalty through his power. Right. right. But we did not serve him with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Right. right. We said, God, you know what? You gave us Passover to show us what coming out of slavery was all about and right. reminding us of what coming coming out of slavery was all about. We don't want that. We want Christmas now, God. We right. do. We want Thanksgiving, God, where our brothers, the Native American Indians, we always going to remember them being destroyed by the white man. Right. right. But we're going to cry about it later. Right. We didn't serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Right. Read. For the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things. So we got brothers in the neighborhoods fighting over corners, killing each other, black on black crime over right. corners where they sell the white man's drugs. Right. right. But God said, you are kings, priests, and rulers of the entire world. Right. That's right. We gave that up. We left God's laws. Read. Therefore, therefore, so as an effect of you leaving God's laws, read, shalt thou serve thine enemy. We will do what? Serve thine enemy. We are still serving our enemy. Right. And just in case we have some of those high-minded people who say, we're not serving our enemies. I got my own job. Bring it I got up. my own business. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So you can't run from God. Right. You can't run from God. We are, we're definitely seeing that we can't run from God. Bring it up. Every day. When them blue lights come on, you first thing you say, oh my God, oh, oh. The curses have followed you. Right. Free. No. In Free. hunger. In hunger. When you get hungry, you serve your enemy. Name McDonald's, Hardee's, Wendy's. Right. Right. Free. And in thirst. And in thirst. Right. So we're going to put hunger and thirst together with Sam Walton, Walmart. Right. When you need that water, you go to the Aquafina Company. Right. Deer Park Company. Right. But wait a minute. Somehow we forgot the wells around uh, that we can go to naturally. Bring it right. up. But you know what? Our minds are far from God, so those resources are far from us. Right. Right. Free. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Check your tag. Made in Taiwan. Bring made it in up. Korea. Right. Made in China. Right. We picked the cotton. Why don't we have textile made? Bring it up. God is saying, you didn't serve me in the abundance of all things. You wanted to do your own thing. You wanted to follow your evil imagination. Right. That's why we're programmed to think this is God and we're nothing. Right. right. But then we put on a picture sign, I am a man. You are made a king. Right. Bring it out. That's the difference. Read. And in what of all things? You gotta ask permission to be born. You gotta ask permission to die. You gotta ask permission to drive. Right. You gotta register everything that's in your name right. to the king. That's what registration means. You're showing the king what belongs to you. Right. What should belong to you in his land. Right. That's what registrar means. Read. And he shall put a yoke Stop. of iron. Stop. So this enemy, God is going to define this enemy. It says, and he, read, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Look him up. Slavery. That chain, shackles, yokes of iron, those were put on us by our enemy. The so-called white man, so-called Arab man, so-called Chinese man. Right. Right. And guess what? They said, the African man, yes, because we were given, matter of fact, let's show that in Joel. Let's show that in Joel, where it said that all the mighty men should rise up. Right before the mighty men were called to war, it showed us how we got into our condition. Read. Joel! Chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. For behold, in those days and in that time, uh -huh. when thou shalt bring again the captivity the of what? Judah, the, what? the captivity of Judah. Bring again. We came out of Egypt the first time from under the hand of Pharaoh. Right. But God, for our disobedience, brought us back into captivity right. again. Right. Right. And we still see captivity today. Right. Right. Read. The captivity of Judah uh -huh. and Jerusalem. The captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. The Bible is plain. Read. I will also gather all nations uh -huh. and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. So when God finally gets that 144,000 to keep God's commandments and be kings and rulers, there's going to be a decision made uh, for us against the rest of the world. Read. Right. Right. And will plead with them for their their, for 
for my people. So God is going to plead for his people right. that have submitted themselves to keeping the law. Yes. Right. And he ain't begging no Chinese man or no white man right. for our deliverance. Right. Right. He's right. not begging them. Right. He's putting them to death. That's right. And for my heritage, for Israel. My heritage, bloodline. God says the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans are his bloodline. Right. You have the blood of God in you. Right. You have the bloodline of Jesus Christ himself right. in right. you. But somehow we don't see the royalty in ourselves. We got to go ask to be treated royal. Right. Right. We got to tell know. somebody, oh, you forgot I'm royal? Right. The thing is, we have to be the royalty. Right. Read on. Whom they have scattered among the nations. So that's why you can find our people here in America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, all around the world. Right. We were scattered on slave ships. We were scattered all across the world on slave ships. Right. And parted my land. And parted my land. So those people in Israel are not the Jews. Right. They're not the Israelites. Right. They call themselves Israelis. Bring it out! Something like the people that's supposed to be here. Bring it out! Our land. Bring. And they have cast lots for my people. They have sold my people on slave auction blocks. Bring it out! Bring. And have given a boy for an harlot. So, we're talking about shaving off our heads, shaving off our beard. I sold a boy for a harlot. In the Jamaican or in the Caribbean islands, they have a process for the slaves. Because in Jamaica and uh, the Caribbean, they had all the rebellious slaves. Right. Understand that. But a part of that process of making them fit for the plantation was to make them buck broken. Right. Bring it out. Where they sodomize the men. Right. They do it in front of the women so that the women feel that they are helpless. Right. See. That's what we got in today's society. Right. Bring it out. It may not be them ramming you in your behind, right. but they take away your masculinity right. because you don't know you're a king. Right. You don't right. act like a king. You don't correct and rule as a king. Bring it up. So we are buck broken in today's society. Right. But who are we buck, buck broken to reap? And sold a girl for wine. Sold a girl for wine, for pleasure. So now our sister, Gladly walk around and skip the pearls. Bring it out! This is why God's law say a woman should not wear pants. Right. She right. should be in modest apparel. Right. You understand that? Because when the enemies look at our sisters with short stuff on, tight apparel, they say, oh, eventually I'm going to get her. Bring it out! I'll right. make her bend to what I want. Right. right. A woman was sold for wine, for pleasure. Right. Free. That they might drink. That they may drink. So this is why we have what we call in our society, mixed baby. Right? And our, some of our women want that thing. Right. But as long as your father is from one of these tribes, you are an Israelite. That's right. right. We don't. Yay. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? So those are African nations. What do you have to do with my people? Yes, y'all share, share the same complexion, but you're not my people. Right. right. I saved my people from you. Right. And all the coast of Palestine. Uh huh. All the coast of Palestine. Those are your so called Jews, your Ashkenazi Jews. Bring it right. out! The fake Jews. Right. The white man Jewish. Right. Something like the real Jew. Right. Will he render me a recompense? They can't pay back anything to God. So just because they're walking up and down the street with you, they ain't doing you no favor. Right. They're trying to take your mindset away from you. You being a king and a ruler. Right. They want you to think, but equality is for everybody. Right. God said, you are above all people. That's, That's right. right. There is no equality with God. Right. We got to understand that. This is the deprogramming of our people. Right. And I can see, it's, it's bothering you, ain't it? But this is, get oppression makes a wise man. Bring it up. We got to understand that God has given us instructions so that we do things right. Right. Understand that. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Being sold into slavery, seeing our brothers die in the street, should make wise people mad. Right. If you're not mad, if you're not mad, what are you? My sister right here. If you're not mad, what are you? What type of emotion would you be? Huh? Well, Disappointment leads into being mad. Opposite of mad. 
Be happy. happy. What's the opposite of wise? Comfort, comfortable, right? But what's the opposite of wise? My brother right here. Foolish. Right. So God says wise men will get mad at their current condition. But guess what? This is why a lot of our people aren't mad at society today. We'll march. We'll protest, but no solutions come of what we do. That's right. God has the solution. He's been protesting with us for a long time. Right. Keep the commandments. Right. That's right. Read. What's the next part? And a gift destroyeth the heart. So, if we were mad at oppression, we wouldn't accept welfare. Because guess what? Welfare is why the man ain't in the house to God. Yeah. Right. You got white man's welfare? No black man can be in the house. That's right. Am I lying? Or is that how he set it up? That gift debates the heart. Watch this. Donald Trump just gave everybody $1,200 or whatever you got because you got kids. Right? Bring it up. But we still find a way to go loot and right. Right. Something ain't right. We mad at our current conditions, but we add more to those conditions. We're happy with oppression. And we give that money right back to the society. Right. So what are we doing? Then we'll come out here and say, well, we need to put our money together. You just spend it on TV. Right. Something wrong with our people. Right. Bring it up. Oppression ain't making our people mad. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.